So I'll label these for us, and I'm going to label them as thrust, gravity, side force, lift, and drag. To figure out how far an airplane moves uh, from one frame to the next, we need to know how fast the airplane is going. But this, and that's the velocity, so the velocity is the rate of change of your position over time. Uh, but these forces, as they, as they impact the aircraft, cause accelerations on the aircraft. And acceleration is the rate of change of speed. Uh, from frame to frame. And so to get accelerations from forces, we have a simple equation that is F equals MA. Force equals mass of your plane, how heavy it is, times the acceleration acting on your plane. Now in Scramble, because we're not trying to get perfect numbers, but we're rather trying to, uh, trying to match the performance of one aircraft compared to another, uh, roughly as they move through the sky, we try to simplify some things. So I am not actually interested in the mass of our airplanes. I'm assuming that throughout a whole scramble match, the mass, the mass of your airplane isn't really changing that much. Uh, and similarly, I don't care precisely what the force is, but I do really care about this acceleration. So when we take these basic forces and we simplify them down instead of as like force values, but as acceleration curves for every plane, uh, we can start to take uh, two planes side by side. So we'll have your thrust, your side force, your lift, your drag, and then gravity. We can forget because gravity in terms of acceleration is the same for every plane. So that part is out. And when we compare all of these curves side by side that are varying um, for every plane, we are able to, we get what's called a performance envelope. So we put all of these things together, every single airplane gets one of these table definitions, uh, and then out come airplanes that all fly a little bit distinct from each other uh, and are all very tunable. Thanks for sticking around for all of that. It was pretty dense. Um, this was lesson three, and it was on the flight physics and aerodynamics modeling in Scramble. Uh, if you want to learn more information uh, about the details that we have in the flight physics, you can check it out on the website. And if you come back for the next lesson, I will teach you a little bit about how we take some of this, uh, some of this physics that's kind of complex in flying an airplane and try to simplify it down and make it accessible for players who might not be so familiar with piloting airplanes themselves. So thanks for, thanks for coming along and I will see you for the next lesson.